get that light right. <laughs> We're just going to have to wing it. Alright. Are you there? <laughs> I don't know. Is it working? Can you hear me now? Hey, this is a bad boy time of the night, and this is the stone. I had this sitting in the fridge for a while, and I wanted to break it out. Uh, the 10th anniversary ruination. So let's pop this bad boy and pour it, because there's a lot to read here on the bottle, and I don't want to read it before I got to pop it and pour it. I'll pour it and let her breathe a second or two. Oh my, look at that color coming out of the bottle. Holy smokes, my dishwasher's done. Can you hear that beeping in the background? That's what that means. Uh, wow, that's a wild color, is it not? Holy cow. Holy crap in the bag! I digress. Uh, Stone Ruination, 10th anniversary. I don't know if I'll read all this, but I want to get to get the highlights. Uh, in June 202, we released Stone Ruination IPA. Bigger, hoppier, and much, much more bitter than popular beers of the day. In fact, in fact, uh, back then it was on the outer fringe of the of craft brewing. So, in the bid to warn folks of the bitter impact of our, uh, <laughs> uh, oh, sorry, our liquid uh, poem to glory of the hop, we named it Stone Ruination IPA. I'm having trouble reading here. Uh, for its extraordinarily bitter, <laughs> ruinous effect on the palate. Okay, I'm not going to go crazy and read all of this. I think you all pretty well get the idea. This is a big bad boy. Uh, it's 100 plus IBUs. It is 10.8%. Uh, and I'm telling you already, I'm doing more than one review on this one. So I'm just going to kind of give... Oh, wow. This one got some weird action to it. Can you see that there? Oh. oh, holy crap in the back, um, crap in the back. Oh, I tell you what, I just had some, uh, I just had, I, I just, I just had some Mexican food, and this is actually perfect uh, to, to finish that off with, because uh, I had some spicy on my palate, and I drank some to try to get down with, but this is actually taking the rest of it all the way down. Mm. We have a great uh, Mexican food place in town called Tortilleria. Now, this is the kind of place you go to if you want real Real, 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 authentic Mexican food. Not, you know, not, not, not chain Mexican food, and not, uh, you know, our Ozark's version of what they think Mexican food is. This is actually real, you know, <laughs> Mexican mama's homemade recipes, Mexican food. Um, uh, Shay and the wife had a chili relleno that are an actual, honest to God, poblano pepper. <laughs> done the right way. Uh, I had enchiladas uh, because I'm kind of a purist. I love the cheese enchilada, but but uh, they make the very the, the very best enchilada sauce there you ever had. And you know if you're talking about food pairings, normally an IPA would be for something like that. Uh, most double IPAs aren't what you're going to have with food. They they are bigger. They are heavier. And most food just isn't going to stand up for. And truthfully, most of them are just so big that that they're sippers. You know, they're they're kind of your after dinner. They're you know into the evening. Um, but you know, I mean, if you got the palate for it, you could feel it, and you got the time. You know, and this would certainly work with it because it, it actually is beautiful with that mixing. Oh. Uh, and uh, I'm at four minutes, so I'm going to cut this down, and I'm going to talk more about it some more. Uh, Stone Ruination 10th Anniversary IPA. This is a darn good son of a gun of a beer.